so here we have our next uh, restore object. It's a Strativarius violin from the Neuner and Hornsteiner workshop in Germany, presumably 1920s. The violin shows uh, two major cracks on the front, or even three, and the neck is loose, so we have to move it a little bit. Uh, we have to get everything apart. That will be the first step, taking it apart. Okay. So here we have it naked. And uh, now the next step is going to take the top plate off. Therefore we take a very flat and sharp flexible knife to loosen the top plate carefully from the ribs. So now we are so far that we can finally take the top plate carefully off. Okay, and here we have a little zoom on the label. Okay, we made a mold for the top plate to work on. Now we simply clean the dust off. Centuries, no, <laughs> dust of decades. So now we're going to bring some glue inside the crack. Also into the other crack. Glue will be applied. And now it's the time that we're going to glue some little cleats onto the cracks to secure them. These cleats are going to be shined down later on. Okay, now that we patched all the cracks with the cleats, the cleats are going to be cut down to the minimum of thickness
Okay, next that is that we're going to glue the front plate back onto the body. That's why we have to apply the glue now on both pieces. And we have to be kind of quick because we use animal glue which needs to be used between 50 and 65 degrees Celsius. So now we have to get the top plate back on onto the body. And once it's centralized and in the right position, we're going to put the clamps on. First clumps on. Okay, and there we are. So now it's going to dry, and then the makeup will be done. So that means we're going to work a little bit on the varnish on the front and the cracks, and then it will be mounted and plate. So now that the glue has dried, we can remove the clamps. Mm -hmm. So next job will be to work a little bit on the varnish to give the violin a little bit makeup to make the cracks visually disappear.
Steve. in the violin just before it's going to be mounted with new strings. So now the violin is going to be really strong. So now we have the violin here. It's completely mounted and in a little while our violin player will arrive and it's going to be played. Here we have a beautiful old Stradivarius violin from the Neuner and Hornsteiner workshop in Mittenwald, Germany. Presumably early 1900s. This violin was completely restored. It shows a beautiful flamed two-piece maple back as well as ribs and neck are from the same wood. And a medium to narrow grinded spruce front. Packs are ebony, fingerboard, chin rest and tailpiece as well. <laughs> 